The Mataafa Tragedy, The Great Lake Storm of 1905 At 30.30 in the afternoon on Monday, November 27, 1905, the steamer Mataafa passed under the newly built Duluth Transfer Bridge, and into Lake Superior. Mataafa was towing a James Nasmith schooner barge, carrying their cargo of iron ore to a steel mill on Lake Erie. The Red Storm flag had been raised that day by Duluth weather forecaster Herbert W. Richardson, yet many captains still felt safe in starting their final journey of the season. The recent storm had passed through the lake four days earlier, and according to sailing knowledge, the storms did not follow each other closely on the lake. That would prove a deadly decision. Soon after passing the port city of two harbors at 7.30, the ships hit the nor'easter. After battling a raging storm for six hours, Captain Richard F. Humble of Mount Hoffa decided to return the ship to safety in two harbors or Duluth. Unable to find the two ports in a storm, there was no choice but to return to Duluth. They walked through miles after miles of the worst weather they had ever experienced. When they approached the dock at noon on Tuesday, Captain Humble knew he could not safely carry the two ships through the canal. He ordered Nasmith to be tuned, to weather the storm on the lake. After Nasmith was released, Metafaa aimed at the center of the pier in the rough seas. Only the luck and grace of God will keep them there. As they began to enter, a huge wave lifted their stern into the air, pushing their bow to the bottom of the lake. The right bow then slammed into the north pier, before they were turned sideways, and pushed onto the north pier. The Mount Hoffa crew realized the rudder and propeller were missing. The alley has been damaged, and the boiler room at the stern is flooded. An engineer yelled it's all up to the boys, and ran to the stairs. The eleven men at the stern had no choice but to follow suit, although they would expose themselves to the winter storm. The waves transformed Mount Hoffa from overlooking Minnesota Point, to overlooking downtown Duluth. He had settled at the bottom of the lake just 250 meters from this shoreline, with its stern 100 feet from the north pier. The twelve sailors at the stern had nowhere to hide from the huge waves, and the wind was 70 miles per hour. Four of them would risk advancing to the bow, as the waves crashed against Mount Aafa. Three of them succeeded, while one of them turned around. At two o'clock, Mount Aafa split in the middle of the ship, and sealed the fate of the people at the stern. Now there are fifteen sailors on the bow, and found shelter in the pilot's house in the captain's cabin. The captain of the U.S. Life-Saving Service in Duluth was Murdoch McLennan. His crew rescued sailors from the steamer R.W. England, two miles from this place, at Park Point. After learning of the Mount Hoffa, they rushed to the canal, but darkness will thwart the rescue attempt. Thousands of residents braved sub-zero temperatures throughout the night on this coastline, to watch Mount Hoffa, as its crew struggled to survive. Bonfires were built on the beach to keep residents warm. In Mount Hoffa, Captain Humble built a fire in the windless room, and kept his men on the bow from freezing to death. The nine sailors at the stern could do nothing but wait on the deck, and hope to be rescued. On Wednesday morning, November 29, rescuers were able to rescue 15 crew members at the Mount Hoffa bow. The nine men at the stern were not so lucky. Four of them were found frozen on decks. Their bodies were found on Thanksgiving Day, November 30th five others could not be found and were presumed dead. The storm of November 27 to 29, 1905, often called the Mount Hoffa Blow, because so many thousands of witnesses stood on this beach, and watched as they struggled to survive. As a result of this storm, a lighthouse on the North Pier was built, as well as the Split Rock Lighthouse on the North Shore. 36 sailors lost their lives, and 29 ships have sunk, shipwrecked or washed ashore on Lake Superior alone. Thank you for watching until the end, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.